Hello, everyone, and thank you, FD Capital, for the invitation to speak with you all today. So uh, my name is David Norris. I'm the head of finance at the NIR Foundation, and I'm delighted to be here to talk about the amazing progress that's been made across the NIR ecosystem, even despite the ongoing bear market. Um, so about me, um, I've near 20 years of experience within finance and jumped at the opportunity to join the foundation last June when I saw both the incredible progress being made to build a better future and how closely the value of near, values of near mirrored my own. So integrity, fairness, transparency and pragmatism. Near Foundation is on a mission and quite frankly, I'm loving every second of being here. And as most of you know, every day is a surprise in Web3. So who are we? Well, Near Foundation is a non-profit headquartered in Switzerland. Um, we exist to raise awareness of Near, support projects building on Near, and provide a clear path of decentralization. And wow, are we making some progress? Our mission is simple: to support the ongoing growth and development of an autonomous and decentralized Near ecosystem. We're backed by the best. In early 2022, we secured support, support from many of the leading names in the industry, which has helped provide the fuel for the ecosystem to take off, and that is reflected in our treasury. So despite the bear market and the volatile US banking sector, our responsible risk-averse treasury management has meant that we have sufficient runway to continue to help the near ecosystem thrive, even in the event of a multi-year downturn. So we're preparing for the worst, but ready to go whenever we need to. We have 350 million fiat in our treasury held in high-grade Swiss banks and we're generating healthy returns monthly. We hold 315 million near in our token treasury, so that's circa 30% of supply with minimal outstanding commitments, and that allows us to really help our projects thrive. And as a result, the Near Foundation is an extremely strong position to support the ongoing growth and development of the Near protocol and ecosystem. So if we have strong foundations, then what about growth? Well, our core metrics continue to trend upward despite a tough market. In the past year, monthly active accounts have grown from 13 million to over 25 million. And we now have over a thousand projects active on NIR who have raised close to $250 million in external funding. So they're obviously building the right things. We have an active ecosystem and we're still only getting started. And that performance has been driven by our strong convictions. So to date, Web3 has been notoriously difficult to access. We've been trying to work as hard as possible to break down those barriers to entry for both developers and users, and believe passionately that to attain mass adoption, we must focus on making Web3 accessible, discoverable, and easy to use. This means doubling down on our convictions, making it easy for builders to build at a low cost and complexity, and for users to explore the ecosystem through easy onboarding and simple gateways. True mass adoption will not be attained through the current tribal fragmented approach across Web3. Therefore, we are focusing on unifying Web3, working closely with our peers to build a better experience for users. And you'll hear more about that over the coming months as more of our peers start joining forces. What this really means is that NIR is the blockchain operating system and the gateway to Web3. And I'll dive into this a little bit more shortly. So how will we reach millions of users? So top down, the foundation is focused on world-class partnerships that bring established players into Web3, bringing with them engaged users. Bottom up, we're supporting decentralization by a series of DAOs that feed into the NIR Digital Collective, which is a community-led governance and decision forum that unites users, projects, stakeholders, and partners. And the foundation has also been supporting the NDC to be fully autonomous with its own treasury and to take control of key community ceremonies like the town hall and ecosystem roundtable. So really our job is to make ourselves unemployed in the foundation to hold over the keys to the community to really lead to that decentralized future that we all have been looking to achieve. Near Horizon also plays a key part in the bottom-up approach, providing projects with much-needed acceleration support. We launched this quarter at Consensus, and we started supporting the first batch of projects. We've partnered with some top backers and service providers to ensure projects have the right resources to grow at the point of need. And in the middle, of course, is the Layer 1 Near Protocol, which most of you would know. So it's supported by an amazing innovation called the Blockchain Operating System, or the BOSS. So that seems like a pretty good place to start. So within the ecosystem, 
Pagoda has built a highly scalable, secure, simple and sustainable layer one and has an ambitious roadmap to continue development. Near Protocol has already delivered the promises of Ethereum 2.0, but now is the moment to continue to build whilst looking at how we can break down the barriers to mass adoption. We all know that Web3 has a problem that is not talked about enough. Fragmented protocols create closed journeys, making it really difficult to achieve widespread attention and therefore distribution and adoption. Some of the best projects with real use cases remain hidden from sites. The promises of Web3 have not been delivered yet, but we are on course to change this and we can only do it together. This year, Pagoda has delivered a truly game-changing innovation in the blockchain operating system, a common layer for discovering and creating open web experiences across all blockchains. This is key to enabling the ecosystem to thrive, to bring true discoverability to Web3, and ultimately to lift up the whole of Web3 together. By creating an operating system that can sit on top of any uh, blockchain and owned completely by the community, projects can build fully composable front ends in a single place in a code they are familiar with, such as JavaScript. This solves the Web3 problems of fragmentation, discoverability, and re-engagement by bringing Web3 to a captive audience of users. And at the same time, the Web2 challenges of censorship, privacy, and data ownership are solved by community governance, all on chain. And how does it work? Well, the blockchains connect with the data platform layer, which then feeds the discovery layer, allowing swaps, lending, NFT minting, social interactions to take place on the bus. The gateways provide accessibility to the common web, making it easy for users to access from within their existing journeys. And fast auth and wallet connects simplify the terribly painful onboarding experience that exists today, taking significant friction away from user journeys. It's an amazing innovation to break down the barriers to entry, which is why I still get quite excited about it. Um, best of all, it's live and running now. For Fast Auth, you actually see journeys that you experience today in Web2. All you need to do is enter an email address, a user account is generated, and you're straight in to use Web3 applications. Additionally, there's over seven, almost 7,000 components that are fully composable and ready to be forked. So all of our projects can leverage what's already been built and get straight to market as soon as they can. So no longer can we say that decentralization is a trade-off for distribution. Distribution is here and it's scaling rapidly on BOSS. Now, if we have the entry point, what about rapid user scaling? So NIR's top-down approach to partnerships is led by a world-class business development team. By working with major applications and brands with substantial established communities, NIR Foundation is partnering on real use cases that drive engagement. We have fantastic enterprise partnerships in verticals such as sports, gaming, and retail. The likes of Sweatcoin, Google, Alibaba are helping drive adoption. And real-life use cases on applications such as Play Ember and Cosmos are really driving scale into the ecosystem through people's everyday life. Across the Nero ecosystem, we already have the majority of the infrastructure in place um, to be able to drive success and our close partnerships with people from all parts of the Web3 and non-Web3 community are really helping to build trust in NIR, making it easy to participate. Another exciting development, as I touched on earlier, was NIR Horizon. And this is the place where we really have created a bit of a change, moving away from a grants program in the past that just handed out money to really thinking about how do we help people achieve product market fit? It's really painful to people to actually get to market. So we've created a place where projects can meet with backers, can meet with service providers at the point of need, truncating the time taken to achieve product market fit. Horizon has just launched at the end of April and has already onboarded 175 projects. And this month, the first base camp, camp accelerator will go live with outlier ventures. We believe that money does not solve all problems, but by providing a wrapper of support along that painful journey, we can help the launch of incredible businesses with real utility. So not only are our projects benefiting from Horizon, but so are service providers directly engaging with startups and early stage companies with a specific need ready to be addressed, and our partners being tremendous value with accelerator programs, backers and education partners joining forces with a curated, highly engaged pool of top projects that will shape tomorrow.
So thank you very much for indulging me today. We're truly on an exciting journey. Um, feel free to contact me on the QR code below, Experience Boss on the second one. Um, or if you're coming to ECC, come and say hello to the team. We'd be delighted to talk. Thank you very much.